This is a Standing A Count special report. You are now a member of the Contender Fraternity. You know what? It's been such a long road for me as a boxer and um, like going through the Olympics, two Olympics, the 96 and 2000 and um, having my uh, pro career up and down and uh, just a, a, a railroad. And now to be able to say um, to go in the, in, the, in the finals, the final finale, fighting against a good guy like Hino. It's it's unbelievable to say. Like I mean, this this was uh, foreseen, but um, the contender has done such a great job for boxing in itself that I'm just I'm honored to be on the show. You know, there are so many compelling stories within boxing. You know that, I know that, a lot of people who know about boxing know that. For people who are not die-hard boxing people, it's awesome that the contender provides that opportunity to get those stories out there. Yours is one of them, and obviously a guy who's been around a while, a guy who's gone through a lot. What is it like for you knowing that you could take part in something like this, and the cruiserweight division at the same time is now getting the type of exposure that it has so lacked in recent years? You know what? It's 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 a it was a it's a great opportunity for people at home. Like that's what I that's what I wanted. People that are just surfing through the channels. You know the the, the guys are just sitting on the couch potatoes, just sitting on the couch watching like you know surfing through the channels and just come up on boxing. The cruiserweight division is such a it was it was a division that was unknown. Ivan of Holyfield obviously was one of the biggest boxers that was in the cruiserweight division and he solidified that division but it's all it's been it's still and after that it's still it's, it got lost again in the shuffle and now we have we have good good boxers 16 boxers that's going to be able to make make waves in 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 the cruiserweight division so i'm so happy for the contender to actually bring cruise the cruiserweight and bring boxing back to the forefront it's just it's just an honor to be on the show I can only imagine. <laughs> I can only imagine. As a guy who many would say, of course, comes with power in both hands, which is always a treat, <laughs> if you can have that as a part of your repertoire, uh, if you will, what is it going to be like for you taking advantage of now this opportunity, being in the main event against a guy like Hino, who's also a guy who likes to bring it himself, of course, and a smart fighter, too, what is that going to be like for you, that whole experience? I mean, you were with them, of course, you know, as the rest of the 15 guys, and now you're in the main event. What types of things are you thinking about? What's going through your mind? Well, pretty much what's, what, what we have been working on, and I've been working on it in the gym with my cousin Chris Amos, um, pretty much we've just been working on boxing. We had a lot of fast fighters. Hino's a very fast fighter. Um, so we've just been working with speed, working on being patient, and just um, going out there and box. Because I'm a, I'm a boxer slash puncher, so we're just going to try to go out there and just box to the best of my abilities. That's all I can ask for on the night. So, um, you know what? Like I said, the contender has been great being on the show. And um, it's definitely going to bring boxing, the cruiserweight division, up. Because we got a lot of talent. And we got a lot of um, different personalities that's going to be able to um, compete with the, the best of the best out there. So that's all we could have really asked for. And the personalities with these guys, it's unbelievable. I thought we, I, I thought we made a, just a great show because of the personalities. Without question, without question. And assuming you cut the ring off tomorrow night, it could be even more exciting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, definitely. It, I mean, people are going to go crazy, obviously, if they, uh, yes, they people's... see some good hard punch. Again, also, you know, subsequently knockdowns and or knockouts. And that's something the cruiserweight division is synonymous with, albeit yes. a lot of people are unaware. Like yes. you just mentioned, because of the negligence that, uh, you know, it has suffered from. Well, definitely. Like, I mean, going out, going out there fighting against, you know, is, uh, it's, all about, it's all about strategy. We worked, we worked very digitally on inside, the, inside the gym, just working on different things that he might come with. Um, you know, cutting off the ring is definitely part of it. Definitely, definitely part of, part of the, you know, the process of going into the ring and uh, just, but you know what? At the end of the day, we look forward to a good, strong 10 rounds of fighting because um, for me, it's a bonus if it happens uh, that it just happens to be a knockout. And I never go into the ring thinking that I'm going to stop someone. I go in there expecting it to go the distance. Mm -hmm. And you always should as a fighter. That's very important. Oh, definitely, definitely. As a fighter, you, you never underestimate anyone. Mm -hmm. You definitely don't un underestimate anyone. My father always told me. My father, Charles Rossi, boxed in the Olympics in 1968. He was my coach for the longest time. But, you know, as a family... It's always hard to take it from the gym and take it home and still be the same family. Um, 
Yes. So um, he's he's been with me through my training camp um, with my my with my cousin Chris Amos, helping me out, uh, giving me pointers here and there. But um, at the same time, it's all about boxing, and that's what we want to do. We want. Uh, I'm a I come from a long line of family boxers, so um, all I want to do is go in there and box. And if, you know what? If the punch happens to stop him or slow him down. Hey, it's a bonus. That's what I call. That's what I call it. It's a bonus after every, it happens. If it happens, it's a bonus. This was a standing A count special report.